Hello everyone, welcome to AG Africa. My name is Sophia. Welcome to my American Girl Doll channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to name your American Girl Doll, some ideas, some tips. I have 18 American Girl Dolls, so I've definitely done quite a bit of naming. So I guess you could say I have a little bit of experience. Anyways, before we get started, I would like to give a shout out to donut underscore lover. Um, I am going to start trying to do shout outs, so definitely comment down below um, if you want a shout out um, or if you have any suggestions. I'm not 100% sure how to do this. Anyway, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. And with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so when you get a new American Girl doll, um, part of the reason I'm doing this video is because it was Christmas this week. Um, so at least for me, I usually get a new American Girl doll. I didn't this year. Um, but most years I would get a new one. So there are a lot of new dolls floating around. Um, there are kind of two categories from my perspective. You can either get a historical doll, contemporary character, or girl of the year. So they kind of come with a name. Or you have a truly me or create your own where they don't have names. So you have to completely generate it from scratch. So the first kind of names I want to go over are the ones where the dolls have a name. So... For example, let's say you get Melody Ellison. Um, a way, if you you could keep her name, you can also um, give her a middle name, hyphenate her name, give her like a nickname. Um, I personally keep my American Girl doll's name, so this is Samantha. Now, American Girl does give the dolls middle names, so if you want, you can search that up on American Girl Wikipedia or even just the internet. It will probably give you their middle name. So if you just want to keep it the way it is, you're welcome to do that. But if you are in the mood to shake it up, here are some ideas on how to do that. The first is look for other names that start with the same letter. So if I was looking for a doll like Elizabeth, I might find a name like Elena. So they're not exactly the same, but they both start with E. You can also, if they're more historical names, there are a lot of names based off of them. For example, now of course John, I mean if you have a boy doll, um, the name Jack is derived from John. So especially for the older names, they have a lot of names that have been derived from them. So you can definitely look at that if you take the name Elizabeth again, because I think it's just a great example. You have the name Eliza, you have the name Beth, Bethany, etc., Lizzie. So you can also do one of something like that or you could just keep it as a nickname that you, you can her. also do it by era so again to the name elizabeth this is like a more historical name so you could do other names similar to the time such as margaret catherine caroline if you want to keep like historical accuracy in fact if you want you can actually just search up names like and then if you want sound like similar to if you search it into youtube you can actually find a series of names also don't forget you can also use the word derived from so here are just some quick examples if you have the doll elizabeth coleman an inspired name might be bethany cole so i take the beth from elizabeth bethany and then cole from coleman an inspired name for samantha might be sammy parks um, and another way you could do it is if you have a doll, for example, Melody, you could also just like look for other musical words um, because Melody is like a name, but also a, a, a word. Yeah, you could also look for other word names that are in the same genre. Or another idea. inspired name idea for Luciana Vega, you could do Luna Vega. Okay, so those are just some examples, but what if you have to make the name entirely from scratch? Okay, so the first thing, I personally think that one of the best things about this is that people go through this all the time, and I don't mean for American Girl Dolls, you can actually just search up baby name videos um, or baby names on YouTube because, in my opinion, naming a new American Girl Doll is a lot like naming a baby because you're kind of like stuck with it. And you want it to be just right. So that's the great thing. There are so many resources online. And you can always say like old baby names. You can say new baby names, floral baby names, any kind of baby name that you can think of are online. And you can also, you know, search through letters. So if you feel like your doll definitely looks like a doll who'd have an L name, you can search baby names that start with L 
or if you just want to mix things up so your dolls all have like a different letter. So it's pretty great um, resource online. Another option to explore is if you want to name your doll after whoever got them for you. So for example, my doll Chrissy, I named her after my grandmother who's Christine. So that was her full name. Or for example, um, sometimes if a, well, my mom's friends' daughters grew out of their dolls and they gave me their old ones, so that's why the middle names of Molly and Lainey are Lily and Isabella, because those were the two sisters. Um, the other thing is that it can be really hard, or at least for me, to know what to do for last names. Some people give all their dolls different last names. Um, some people, they all have the same last name. For a long time, my American Girl dolls all had my last name, but of course, I don't really share that out because I don't want people knowing my last name. Um, so you're welcome to do kind of everyone has the same last name, or I think it's really easy if you want a last name, you can do um, a name generator or last name generator. You can actually do a whole profile generator, which I think is actually super helpful because you can, if you do that, you can kind of give like approximate where they're from. So if you have an idea for, you want your doll to be from Kenya, because <laughs> I'm from Kenya, um, then they could generate like Kenyan last names or even Kenyan first names, if that's something you're interested in. And you can also put in like the names of family members which would just be like your other dolls if they're kind of related and then they can generate names similar to the names of the family members if that makes any sense of course this all depends but i highly recommend this is totally optional if you whatever name you choose make sure there is a cute nickname because i think nicknames for american girl dolls are super cute um you'll notice that almost all american girl dolls whatever their name is at least the ones American Girl names, they almost always have nicknames. For example, Joss has Jocelyn, Samantha, Sam, or at least that's what Uncle Guard calls her. So I highly recommend doing a nickname. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you get a Truly Me doll or create your own, um, if you name them a name that has a Be Forever or Girl of the Year attached to it, so for example, you get a Truly Me, but you name her Samantha, there might be a little bit of confusion. And of course, you're still welcome to do that, but just keep in mind, people might think that you have that doll instead of the one you do have. So just be ready for that. Anyways, so those are all of my tips. Um, let me know down below in, if you have any tips of your own, how you guys name your American Girl dolls. Honestly, I think it's like super hard because I want them to be special and yeah, I want them to be special and I don't really change their names and of course you know I share them with by all my dolls videos and in my stop motions so I definitely want them to be fun anyway so let me know down below how you name your American Girl dolls names and if you want to know my all my dolls names definitely check out my all my dolls video I actually just redid one so I will link that down below anyway with that being said don't forget to like this video comment down below what kind of videos you would like to see for a shout out and I will see you guys next time bye